Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wanjiru Kabuchi and I'm very, very passionate about mental health. Now, why am I so passionate about this topic? Is because I've realized that the society has stigmatized this topic and nobody is willing to talk about it, yet it's affecting majority in majority of our young people. And that means that we need to talk about it without shame. We need to remove the stereotype associated with this topic and openly talk about these issues. Now, I've done so many other videos. If you scroll down, you will see so many of my videos that I'm talking about mental health and today I basically want to talk about what are some of the habits that you can do what are some of the simple habits that you can uh, use uh, simple habits they're going to work best when it comes to your mental health these are some of the things that they can improve your mental health if you do them and you practice them every day they're going to improve your mental health let's jump direct into them number one it is living the present. Now, I know that one, many people will say, oh, it is not easy. It is very, very easy. Now, many of the things that stresses us are things, are our failures, our past failures, our projection in terms of future and things that we do not want to, you know, just let go. Now, living the present means what? That take each day at a time. Do not accumulate a lot of stuff. Now, your mind will not be able to fathom all this that you have accumulated, your past failures, your past regrets, your past bad decisions, and all that. Now, if you keep on meditating on those past issues, then they're going to pile up and they're going to mess up with your mental health. So today, I'm advocating that the first thing that you need to do that can really help you improve your mental health, it is living the present, taking each day at a time. I know we do, not, we do have our, uh, our decisions we do have our goals, we do have our dreams, our inspirations, but at times they are hidden because of the accumulation of the past and the projection of the future because the future will make you so anxious and then the the past will make you regret so many things that you have done. So now to make sure that your mind is relaxed, to make sure that your mind is, uh, is clear, please ensure that you live the present. That is the first thing. The second point that I want to emphasize it's to allow yourself feel the emotions. Now, I know sometimes when we think about our past, when we think about our goals, when we think about our dreams, when we think about what we have gone through, sometimes it overwhelms us. So when you are in such a state, uh, it is always good to allow the emotions flow. Of course, we, when you're having mental issues, you will find yourself crying a lot. You'll find yourself sad you'll find yourself bitter, you'll find yourself distracted. And all these emotions, if you do not allow them to just, you know, flow, if you feel like crying, just allow yourself to cry. If you allow, if you feel bitter, just allow yourself to be bitter. And, and that means by the time you're done with that emotion, by the time you're getting through that emotion, you will feel better, you will feel relieved. And this is one of the way in which it can act as catharsis, you know, that means that when you just allow the emotions to flow, when you feel bitter, just be. When you feel sad, allow yourself to go through that emotion. If you feel crying, just allow yourself to go through it. So that now, by the time you're done with this, by the time you cry and you have gone through uh, all these emotions, by the time you're done with that, you will have feel relieved. You will feel, you will feel you want to start again and it will give you uh, you know, energy to move on. And trust you me, that some of these small, small emotions like crying, uh, feeling bitter, isolating yourself uh, for, for some people to allow your emotions flow. That means that by the time you're done with that kind of a, of a process, you will feel better and you will surely calm down and you will come up with good uh, strategies to help you propel forward. So allow yourself to feel these emotions. Do not do not do not be so hard on yourself if you feel like crying allow yourself to cry if you feel sad allow yourself to be for that period but again do not stay there wake up and continue when you allow the emotions to to, to flow that means that you're going it is going to relieve off your chest it's going to relieve off your mind and by the time you're done you will be more clear and you will feel better that is the second one it's important habit that will help you improve your mind uh, the next important habit that will surely help you to improve your mental health, best for your mental health, is setting healthy boundaries. Now, I know the society that we are living in, topics and standards and marking schemes have been set. But let me tell you, if you think critically about the issues that are really health, uh, stressing you up, 
could be that they were first contributed by the society uh, before they even, you know, start messing up with your mind. Now, when you say setting healthy boundaries, what does that mean? I didn't say that you isolate yourself from people, no. But setting healthy boundaries, this is what it means. That if they start a topic that messes you up mentally, please just go. Allow them to know that this is where I cannot start talking about any of the, of, of the issues that I've gone through. Now, for instance, I will just give a, a one example. Where we're living in a society which defines success in different so many other ways. Defines success in terms of career, defines success in terms of achievement and all that. But if you feel like your goals and your dreams have not been achieved or you're not yet there, but maybe the people that you are uh, that are around you are talking about a topic that can trigger your mental issues. Please just go. If they ask you and they intrude into your privacy in terms of your life, please allow them to know that this is my boundary. I do not talk about this issue uh, beyond this point. So when you set health boundaries and you let everybody know, let your families know that this is where you you draw the line when it comes to talking about certain issues. This is where uh, you draw the line between you and your friends. You cannot talk beyond that, that, that point. Then that one is going to make them understand that you're not isolating yourself from them, but generally you have just set yourself some healthy boundaries. This is will prevent you uh, from a lot of uh, from a lot of stresses. Now imagine people have started talking about a topic that is stressed you or a topic that triggers you to start thinking about your past failures uh, and being anxious about the future uh, and that one is going to mess up your mentors so if you listen and if you sit together with them chances are that you're going to be messed up mentally so when you set uh boundaries let them understand that these boundaries you're not isolating yourself from them but you're setting these boundaries for the sake of your mental health for the sake of your peace for the sake of your uh, of of your well being, and there's a joke that goes around that says that you think that uh, uh, I am not healthy, or you think that uh, all is not working well. Is mental health uh, is peace of mind uh, a joke to you? Because mental health it's very very important, and peace of mind it's very very important. And some of these things, if you do not set boundaries, they are going to help to contribute. To significantly into messing up your mental health. So why don't you just say that for me and, and from where I sit then, I've set boundaries. I do not talk about this issue. I do not set about, I do not talk about this topic. And do not, don't allow anybody to, you know, pressure we, you with the, their own, their own, define to you what it means to live a, a, a life. Because people out here have lived their life differently and they really want others to live the way they have lived. So that now they will, you will hear them giving phrases like "ah to meishi kuishi kuingi kuona mengi." That is very true, but that doesn't define you. It doesn't define your path. It doesn't define your future. So what means that you take your path, stick to it, and set boundaries? Tell them that I do not talk about a certain topic beyond this point. I do not talk. I do not engage myself in certain topic. I do not. Uh, engage myself in certain discussions and you're not doing that for because you hate them no this is setting healthy boundaries and they're going to work well as when it comes to your mental health try that and you will come back and tell me how you feel that is the next one and the last one this isn't the what i always say the last one is self-care nobody will tell you about self-care Nobody will tell you now. Sit down. I take care of yourself. Or, or I take care of you. Nobody. Self care is a point where you reach and you say that deliberately take an action. I'm going to take care of my mentors. I'm going to take care of my skin. I'm going to take care of my body. I'm going to take care of my everything. So self care is just a routine, a simple routine that you start. Maybe meditating three hours or meditating thirty minutes a day. Reading a book for two hours, watching a health movie for two hours, taking a walk for 30 minutes, taking a ride for, you know, for, for 30 minutes, uh, keeping yourself, you know, beautiful, feeling beautiful. Because let me tell you this, that when you do have mental issues, you really, your self-esteem chances are that it's going to be messed up. And we're going to talk about one that one later because mental health can really mess up with your self-esteem. So now self-care is where you feel like now I'm going to start a simple routine when it comes to skincare. I'm going to start a very simple routine when it comes to body uh, weight and, and, and keeping healthy in terms of your weight. 
Now, those simple, simple stuff, they will help you improve your self-esteem. They will help you in improving your mental health. And trust me, if you do that simple skincare, it will make you feel beautiful. It will make you feel, you know, relaxed. And you will understand that these small, small things that you are going to engage yourself in, like, for instance, of course, skincare, uh, checking on your weight, eating healthy, those small, small habits, they are going to help you and you feel relaxed love yourself better. If you feel you, are, you you look at yourself, you have shed some weight because chances are that when you're having your mental, um, your, your, your mental issues, you're not going to take good care of yourself. You're not going to take care of your skin. You're not going to take care of your, uh, of your weight. Some chances are that you are either going to add a lot of weight or then reduce weight drastically to a point that you feel uh, uncomfortable with so that if you do simple skin care, simple health eating, this, this, these ones are going to improve your health, whether you like it or not. It, they're going to improve your mentors. Drastically, you're going to feel better. So what am I saying? That I'm saying that for you to feel better, for you to feel your mentors are going uh, the right direction, start some small personal care. Self-care, very, very important. So that at least by the time you're moving out of the house, you feel beautiful. By the time you are... Uh, going to work, you feel beautiful because I know when it comes to mental health, you might be in a point where everybody can just look at you and see that you're having some issues, but do not allow yourself to get to those points. We have our goals, we have our dreams, we have our inspirations, we have made decisions that have costed us our peace, but we are not going to stay there. We are going to rise take care of ourselves, take care of our skins, taking care of our weight, checking and eating healthy, and we feel better again. And of course, you do not have to go broadcasting your problems out there. We all have our problems. Yes. But now, start a self-care routine that will help you improve your mentors. If you find this video very, very important, and you find the points that I've talked about workable, please uh, consider it a chance to subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to really really appreciate my name is wanjiro kabuchi i'm passionate about mental health and i'm going to talk about this topic without shame and without prejudice